It is hard to find a more talented musician and songwriter than Michael Bruce. His accomplishments span his 50-year career. Michael grew up in Phoenix in the 60s and attended North High School. In 1966, he joined the Phoenix-based group The Spiders alongside Vincent Furnier, Glenn Buxton, Dennis Dunaway, and John Spear. I sort of met Alice in the band indirectly at the Clash of the Combos at Christown Mall. We won our section of the mall, which was to the east, and the west uh, was uh, Vince, which is Alice now. Uh, their band played and they got eliminated, the Spiders. Uh, and later, uh, I got a call from these two brothers that had this band, Adam Strange. They said, hey, Michael, uh, the Spiders are looking for another guitar player. John, John Tatum left. So I went down to an audition at the VIP. After the end, we were walking out in the parking lot and they said, hey, is that your Willie's Jeep out there? I said, yeah, it is, by the way. Said, would you, how would you feel about carrying some equipment? I said, oh, no problem. So I was never officially joined the Spiders, but I was the roadie slash guitar player. In 1968, the band changed the name of their project to Alice Cooper. According to Urban Myth, the new name of the band came up during a Ouija board session. Alice told us a story about he was operating the Ouija board. On the Ouija board, it said he was a 17th century witch who was burned at the stake, falsely accused of being a witch. And we got a nice story, you know, and we kind of went away scratching our heads. But the next night, after we slept on it, we all ended up back at Bonnie's apartment, and we go, yeah, I really like that name. Let's go with it, you know. And the rest is rock and roll history. With Michael's contributions as a songwriter, the band released a string of hit albums in the 70s, including Love It to Death, Schools Out, and Billion Dollar Babies. He wrote or co-wrote many of the band's most famous hits, including I'm 18, Under My Wheels, School's Out, No More Mr. Nice Guy, Muscle of Love, and Billion Dollar Babies. No more Mr. Nice Guy, no more Mr. You can only imagine the stories that Michael can tell you about his life on the road with the Alice Cooper Band. We moved to a farm, Pontiac, Michigan, <laughs> and it had like two bedrooms, and that was it. It was a farmhouse with a well, a barn, and a big horse paddock in the back where we rehearsed. So we'd go out and do mini tours, and then go back to our farm there. And this went on for quite a while until uh, we went into the studio uh, in Chicago with Bob Ezrin. And, and because Bob was from Canada, they get their music played in Canada. So they were able to play I'm 18 at CKLW, I believe that's a station in Canada, on, in Ontario. I'm 18 and I don't know what I want. 18, I just don't know what I want. And we had all of our friends, Shep got us a phone out at the farm and said, I want you to make on that phone 24 seven. Hi, could you not play that Alice Cooper song, I'm 18? Hi, I want to hear 18, you know. So we racked up a thousand dollar phone bill and they started putting it on rotation and lo and behold, we're driving down on our way to another gig and we hear 18 come on, <laughs> we pull over the side of the road, get out. That's not really happening, is it? Somebody pinched me and it, they were playing it on the radio and we were just like out of our heads, you know, just with, finally got a record out after all our struggles and everything and it was a real game changer. We had an in-house joke about, we used to get our feathers from the Holiday Inn. <laughs> Everywhere we'd stay, we'd accidentally misplace a pillow into our vehicle, and we used it. My dad worked for Coca-Cola, and I'd bring these big CO2 tanks, and Alice would break home, but a feather pillow, and it was a, all of a sudden the whiteout, like a Fellini avant-garde movie. And we'd come back to play from time to time, and, and club owners were saying, I'm still picking up those feathers. <laughs> so it really, it really stuck. So we decided when Holiday Inn did, did away with the feathers and went to foam, we're out of luck, you know. So we decided to go to the source, so we brought back with us to the Varsity Stadium live chickens. 
Cooper responded by picking up the bird and throwing it in the air. When it landed back in the hands of the audience, the chicken was torn into pieces. All of a sudden the crowd rushes forward and knocks down the fence and they're all fighting over the chicken. And later on the Toronto Journal said, Alice Cooper, chicken killer, we stole the whole thing. And you can't buy that kind of, I mean, the, all these groups that were there, they were like, these guys? <laughs> and Alice said, oh, I don't know where the chickens came from. <laughs> Michael left the band in 1975, but the members have all remained friends to this day. In 2011, Michael was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio with the Alice Cooper Group. Over the years, Michael has continued his music career, and in 2019, he started an original project, the Michael Bruce Group. Michael and his wife Lynn are active in many charities, including Feed My Starving Children and the Solid Rock Foundation. In August 2022, some of the original Alice Cooper members reunited and recorded 14 songs for an upcoming reunion album in Stanford, Connecticut. Michael is loved and respected by his peers not only for his exceptional talent, but also for his generosity and kind heart. Let's hear what some of Michael's closest friends say about him. Hi, Mikey. I just wanted to pop in and congratulate you on this well-deserved, long-awaited award and wish you the best of everything. Miss you. Hi, Michael. It's Dennis Dunaway, in case you didn't notice. Congratulations on your induction into the Arizona Music and Entertainment Hall of Fame. Arizona has a wealth of talent, and you're right at the top of the heap. Little did they know, we would never mature beyond the age of 18. Congratulations. Michael Bruce, this is Mike Allen here. You may remember me as that lovable scamp amp boy. Do you recall the time I rolled the band over with the band and the instruments in it? Good times, good times. I want to congratulate you on your induction into the Arizona Music and Entertainment Hall of Fame. Well done. Hi Michael, Cindy Smith Dunaway, as if you didn't know. I'm here just to wish you congratulations on your induction to the Arizona Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's so totally awesome. But then again, so are you. Greetings, fellow rock and rollers. Thank you all for being here today. What a wonderful occasion for everyone to come together. I'm Christopher, and today we are celebrating my dad, the amazing and incredibly talented Mr. Michael Bruce. Michael's solo career burst onto the scene with the release of In My Own Way, which includes one of my personal favorites, King of America. Other amazing albums include Billion Dollar Babies, Battle Axe, and Muscle of Love. Michael's gift as an artist through his storytelling songs, recording dynamic music, and entertaining his fans is why we are all here to celebrate him. We are all so happy to be included and celebrate another induction. Congratulations, Dad. Michael richly deserves this award. We are excited to induct Michael Bruce into the Arizona Music and Entertainment Hall of Fame.